guys, I'm Alison Pryor and I do YouTube tutorials in real time, step by step, so you can follow me. I have been uh, thinking about people asking me questions about um, copyright, so worried about copyright when they're doing their paintings. So I find a lot of artists, when they worry about that, um, they're wondering if it's okay to paint other artists' paintings or videos or photos or tutorials from the videos and books and um, so I'm trying to explain what copyright really means so that you can be comfortable doing tutorials and um, if you can sign, like some people ask me can they sign can they sign their paintings even though they did you know uh, if they did a painting out of a book or you know, an art book that teaches you how to paint. And um, the way I see it, you can't sign a painting that you did from a book or tutorial. You uh, All you do is mention that it's from a tutorial or a book that you followed. The problem arises when people, they uh, they take a picture of the art book that, and then they what they do is they post it. And they say that they are the ones that did the painting when in actual fact they didn't, and then they sign it, so that's not a good idea. You could get in trouble. Now, can you imagine if you did a beautiful painting, and you spent many hours on it, and it was sellable, and somebody took a picture of your painting, and they printed it off, and they said it was theirs, and they put their name on it. You wouldn't be very happy. So you don't want to do that to somebody else either. So imagine, you know, that that could happen and, and you wouldn't be very happy. So if you paint a picture from a picture, I'm sorry, if you paint from a picture that you took yourself, then you can do whatever you want with that. You can sign it, you can print it off and sell prints, you can sell your original because you are the one that took the picture yourself. And um, if you're doing a tutorial or a book, uh, learn how to paint book, you can do your own version and sign it and just mention the person's name. So copyright uh, is somebody else's work. You don't want to take their work and say it's yours. That's the safest way to do it, okay? So, you, you're, I'm pretty sure you're okay with tutorials. If you do my tutorials, your paintings not going to be exactly the same as mine, even though you follow them. But, you know, I'm not going to get upset that you did your painting from my tutorial and you end up selling it. And put your name on it, because it's your painting. But I don't know how other uh, people feel about that. But, in my case, you can go ahead and do my tutorials. And you can enjoy them and have fun and not worry about it. So if you do, say you do this eagle that we just did recently. So you do this eagle and you paint it and it comes out really nice. You might have a different background. I mean, that eagle I got off the uh, uh, free public domain site. So you can do the same thing. I just showed you how I painted it. So you can go ahead then and take that and and uh, sell it, and print it off, and sell prints, and do whatever you want with it. Some people I've noticed on um, the tutorials and the videos do ask that you don't sell their, when you do a tutorial with them, the, I've seen them say, well, don't, um, don't sell it commercially. Now that's up to them, and you can discuss that with them, and ask permission if you can sell a painting that you did from their tutorial. So that's what I find. I find it's much better when I use my own photo for reference. Uh, my own, and if you want to use other photos, there's lots of public domains pictures out there, lots of websites where you can get all free pictures and you paint them and then they're yours. So it's all right, you, you know. Uh, look up copyright, you know, go on Google, wherever you have to go to look up copyright to understand it so that you don't get worried about it and take the fun out of your painting. So anyway, 
that's about it for now and I hope that helps and I hope uh, you got any questions just ask me um, you can email me at alisonpryor at yahoo.com if you have any questions at all I will answer them for you so that's it for now so you have a good day and I'll be seeing you in the next video